Service Department of MEMCORP and today I want to explain a few things about our SP5500 semi-automatic printer. And it's not really complicated to work with that unit, but it might still be necessary to explain a few things. So I prepared the unit already for you. You can see the stencil is mounted. There are standard twilling holes for standard size stencils. And I set it up with these supports for a little board like this. And you can adjust to your needs where you want these plates. There are also other accessories which you might see in the pictures on our website. So I'm not talking about those right now. Okay, what do you need to know? You need compressed air. There is a tube coming out of the back of the unit and you hook it up to a compressor or whatever you have available. You can adjust your air pressure with a little knob on the side. You pull it out and then you can adjust it to your needs and then you can press it back in. So this way it's not changing anymore. You have two knobs here. On and off is for the actual print. I will show that in a few moments. And up and down allows you to lift up the heavy frame with your stencil. And this allows you to take out the board and so you don't need a, a third or fourth hand to hold up the stencil while you are trying to remove your board. You have in front two knobs. They are for adjustment of your board position. So by turning them in the same direction clockwise or counterclockwise, that makes the board moving forth or back underneath the stencil. If you turn the two knobs into opposite directions, then that makes the board rotating underneath the stencil. On the right side, there is another one. And with that one, you can move the board right and left. Over here on this side, you see a little knob when you pull it after your print is done that detaches the board from your stencil. Now, what else can you see? Um, maybe I move the stencil down and you can see it a little bit better. There are two knobs here and here in the front and two more in the back here. With those you can adjust the stencil distance from your board, depending on the thickness of your board. And so just make sure it is parallel and this way you will get a nice print. And finally, uh, two more things. With this handle you can move your squeegees right and left to print. At the same time, when you pull it to the left, for example, the right squeegee goes down. You can adjust the pressure here and you can adjust as well with these two knobs how much it pushes down. And the same, of course, in the opposite direction if you push it to the right, then the left squeegee goes down. You can adjust that one as well. And here with these little adjustments, you can limit the way you want to travel. So you always move the same distance for your print. So the advantage of this kind of semi-automatic printer is that you have at least a constant pressure and a constant angle for your print. So the only remaining 
variable is the speed. So please try to run your print squeegee on a constant speed if you can manage that.